Let's do some exercises here from Computer Number Systems Counting Worksheet Number 1. It's been thought that humans count in groups of 10. We use the decimal system, groups of 10, because we have 10 digits on our, on our hands. We have, that is, we have 10 fingers on our hands. And we like to count in groups of 10. Now notice how many squiggly symbols we currently use in our numbering system. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That's a total of 10 squiggly symbols. Then we start recycling and reusing these squiggly symbols, a 1 and a 0, a 1 and a 1, and so on. Well, let's uh, take a look at octal. In the world of octal, we are really talking about groups of 8. This is called a base 8 number system, numbering system. And uh, 0 through 7 are the same as what, we're years, what we are used to in decimal. But once we've run out of our 8 digits, we recycle. So that 7, when you add 1 to it, we get a 0 in that column. We carry a 1, and we now have a 1, 0. Don't pronounce that as 10. Only uh, the number 10 in the world of decimal can properly be called 10. But anyway, that is uh, the number 10 in base 8. And then the pattern continues with 1, 1, 1, 2, and so on. Eventually, somewhere lower on the worksheet, you'll get to the base 8 number 1, 7. Well, do not think that the next value is uh, 1, 8. It's illegal. You can't have an 8. An 8 is not a legal octal digit. But rather, what you do uh, after 1, 7 is you, uh, you reset that column to 0. You carry 1, and you now bump the 1 up to a 2. So somewhere uh, the pattern continues with you know, 1, 5, 1, 6, 1, 7, then 2, 0. 2, 1, 2, 2, etc. Hey, what would be the next number after 7, 3, 7 in octal? Well, you can't make that 7 into an 8. So this 3 bumps up to a 4. That 7 resets to 0. And that 7, well, nothing happens to it. So there's an example of, of uh, the next value after 737 is 740. Now let's consider binary, the numbering system that the, the machine, uh, at the machine level, the, com the computer uses to uh, count. In binary, we only have two digits because this is considered base 2. We only have a 0 and a 1. And then we immediately recycle, and the next value is 1, 0, and so on. Watch the pattern. Okay, for example, the next number after 110, since we can add 1 to this and the 0 plus 1 does yield a 1, we just drop down this 1 and this 1 uh, as before. Let's add 1 to this number. Well, a 1 plus a 1 is a 2, but you can't write a 2. You uh, reset that as a 1, you carry a group of 2, and then this column adds up to 2, you carry a group of 2, you carry a group of 2, and you're bumped up to that number. Uh, do the rest of the worksheet and make sure that you keep these numbers right aligned over here near the edge of the, of the column. These no, uh, binary numbers get wide really quickly. Now this is kind of odd, but uh, technically what we're saying here is that on planet Earth, where we all usually count in decimal, if somebody says that they'll give you um, $5 in the world of binary, they're really giving you one zero one dollars. Not one hundred and one dollars, but one zero one is equal to five. In the world of octal, the a five is the same as the five in decimal. But uh, down here on our chart, it looks um, uh, odd to say that in the world of decimal, the number nine, if you had nine dollars, on a planet in the solar system where they count in groups of eight, they would just commonly say that you have one one dollars. 
and that's really the equivalent of nine dollars. Okay, do the rest of these two columns, um, but I will point out uh, some of the patterns here with binary before you do your homework. Check this out. In a binary uh, numbering system, the ones column here alternates 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. All even decimal numbers, 8, 6, 4, they all, as binary values, end with a 0. And all odd numbers end with a 1. Hey, here's another pattern. In the second column coming in from the right, the numbers re re uh, repeat in groups of two. Zero, zero, one, one. Zero, zero, one, one. Zero, zero, one, one. Zero, zero, and so on. Now this is kind of odd to be building up our numbers uh, from right to left as columns, but the pattern does hold. And notice also that it's, it's actually traditional to pad binary numbers with leading zeros there. We actually write in the leading zeros often in binary uh, values. So let's make this more clear by putting zeros in all those places. Okay, let's look at the third column then. In this column, it repeats in fours, zero, 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 zero and then four ones. The pattern is going to continue, zero, 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 and then four ones, and so on. And then this column, it's groups of eight. Eight zeros, and you can trust me on this, followed by eight ones, and so on. Now we will study this later, but um, just to give you a heads up, the columns, the names of the columns, in the world of decimal, you have the ones column and you have the tens column, and then the hundreds and then the thousands and so on. Well, in the world of binary, this column is the ones. This column is the twos. This column is the fours, and this column is the eights, and so on. The next column out here would be the sixteens column and the thirty-twos column. So the, the number of repeating zeros here in this column is 8, and then one, 8 ones, and so on. Um, that's a, another pattern that you'll, you'll soon see. Hey, also look at this. Every time in decimal, you end up with a perfect power of 2. Uh, 2 squared is 4. 2 cubed is 8. And further down on this worksheet, uh, where we have 16, that's equal to 2 to the 4th. Well, notice what happens in binary. We end up with a 1 followed by the number, the exponent there, that number of zeros. So, a 1 followed by two zeros. Hey, check that out. It's a 1 followed by two zeros. This, this number is going to be equal to a 1 followed by three zeros. Check it out, a one followed by three zeros. So my prediction is that the binary value for 16 is a one followed by four zeros. Now be sure if you're doing something like this, that you put a little subscript uh, to show that that's really the number one zero 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 in binary and not the number 10,000 in decimal. So you could put a little base 10 there to be clear of what you mean. Um, when you're trying to confuse people. or Okay, let's do some hex problems. In hex, there are 16 digits. It's considered base 16. So 0 through 9 are the same as decimal. But then it's a little tricky. We need a few more digits, and we use capital letters to fill in the digits that we need. How many digits do we need? Well, we need uh, 16 digits. And count them up. Uh, 0 through D is not enough. We need to go to E and then F. So F is equal to 15 in decimal. The letter F in the world of hexadecimal 
is really uh, the same as 15 of something on planet Earth. Now, what do you do when you get to F? Well, the same thing you did when you got to 7 here, and the same thing that you did when you got to the 1 here. You go to 10, follows these crazy numbers, but you don't pronounce it as 10, you just say 1, 0. And then 1, 1, then 1, 2, and so on. Eventually, you get to the hexadecimal number 1, 9. Well, you go to 1a, just like the 9 led to the a here. And then you go to 1b, 1c, 1d, 1e, 1f. And there is no such thing as the letter g in hexadecimal. After you go to 1f, it's 2, 0. And then 2, 1, etc. Eventually 2, 9. And then 2a, etc. There's a great pattern here. Look it up on the internet. You'll see a wonderful YouTube videos probably that explain it more clearly than this. Uh, good luck on this worksheet filling in the rest of the pattern here for, for this uh, part of the worksheet. Now let's just spot check the, these uh, questions down here. So what number comes after each of these numbers? Hey, here's an easy one. 176. Duh. 177. But look at this one. 207. You can't say 208 because 8 is not a valid octal digit. So that 7 resets to 0, and then the 0 here bumps up to a 1, and that 2 stays the same. As crazy as this looks, in the world of octal, 207 is followed by the number 210. Because when you add 1 to 207, it ends up being 210. Let's do a hex. This one's easy. After 3b2 is simply, well, the 2 changes to a 3, and the b and the original 3 stay the same. Look at this one, though. After the letter f, you do not say g. That f resets to 0. You carry 1 to the next column, where you get a 7 plus 1, which is 8. And that 1 is uh, drops down. It's unchanged. Let's do a binary problem. This one right here, D. Well, the number after this, this 1, when, add, when having 1 added to it, resets to a 0. The, the carried 1 goes to the top of that column, where it makes a 1. Then the rest of this stays the same. So there's the answer to that question. Good luck with the rest of the worksheet.